If I've learned anything on this job, it's not to mix business with pleasure. I've been up all night calling the turn on two yagmen who refused to squeal. And then, she came in. I need your help. You look like a girl who can take care of herself. Some things, even I can't handle. At the lounge where I work, four girls have disappeared in the last week. None of them have come to work. There's a cake eater who keeps coming in trying to pick us all up. I'm afraid they fell for his malarkey. This is him. What makes you think this is foul play? A girl just knows. I went to the bar where Evelyn worked to try to get a lead. <coughs> Hey, hey Toots, you look like the kind of girl who knows what goes on in a place like this. I always know what goes on, even behind closed doors. What do you know about the four missing girls and a man called Walter Kelly? I don't know where that kid came from, but he didn't come from here. From the first time he walked into this joint, all the girls would shrink away in fear, but a few couldn't resist his dangerous charm. Did he ever get rough with any of the girls? I never saw it, but a few of them would come in with bruises. <laughs> like they couldn't satisfy him or something. Where does this drugstore cowboy live? Uh, the girls say he has a nice place at the corner of 4th and Columbus. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to be on stage in five minutes. I went to the corner of 4th and Columbus, the man's house to try to poke around and find some evidence. When I saw those clips, I thought of those broads from the lounge. I knew then that Walter Kelly was guilty. I had to call Evelyn. This is Evelyn. It looks like your feminine instincts may have been right. It seems he kept a few trophies. If it's true, then he has to be stopped. What if I'm next? You wouldn't want anything to happen to me. Take him out. Calm down, dollface. I think I should find out a little more before I do anything drastic. This was no ordinary record. Inside, a marriage certificate for Evelyn LaFleur and Walter Kelly. I knew Walter Kelly's life was in danger. I had to warn him. Damn broads. <laughs> 